Iceland. It's a dream destination for every traveler. You can find the most incredible wonders of nature on a small island. Ocean, waterfalls, geysers, canyons, glacier, volcano, and the cutest animals. Hi, my name is Tanya and welcome to my travel channel. In this video I will share with you my experience of traveling around Iceland by motorhome. Last September me, my husband and my friends went to our dream journey. We made a whole circle around Iceland on motorhome in 9 days and visited the most beautiful places in Iceland. So let's look our motorhome tour. This is our motorhome and my husband Sergey. This model of motorhome suits for six persons, but as there are seven of us, we bought an air mattress to make one more sleeping place across the driver and passenger seat. That's how our friend slept. Above driver's seat we have bed for two persons. The table unfolds into one more bed for two. And the last sleeping place is behind. It's the best and the biggest one, king size. Under it there is a big trunk where we put all our luggage and also folding table and chairs. Here we have shower, toilet and sink. Big kitchen. Here we cook wash the dishes and there is storage place above. There is heating system, you can set temperature and it will be kept in motorhome. And here we have one socket, but it works only when we stay in campsite and plug in electric cable to the network. And of course we have a fridge. So why we choose motorhome? First of all, traveling by motorhome is a super special kind of experience that we always want to try. You can spend the night near a beautiful waterfall or near the ocean and wake up with amazing view. Or begin your day running after ships. For some reason they were not happy about it. Also, wherever you stop you could cook some food or make a hot tea as you have kitchen inside. And all that feeling to have a home on a wheel is so awesome. It gives us incredible feeling of road trip. The coconut nut is a giant nut. If you eat too much, you get very fat. Well, the coconut nut is a big, big nut. But this delicious nut is not a nut. It's a cocoa fruit. It's a cocoa fruit. Of the cocoa tree. Of the cocoa tree. From the Coco Palm family! We had a great vibe here and we will definitely remember this trip forever. I think everybody should try this experience at least one time of their lives. And the last but not the least that for our big company it was the most affordable option. When we prepared for our trip we rethink all options to choose the cheapest one but the most interesting. First we thought to travel by camper van, but for our company of seven we need to rent two campers. Second option was to rent a car and live in accommodation, but in this case we also need two cars and also prices for accommodation in Iceland are quite expensive. And then we recognize that big motorhome is the best option for us. If count per person, this option we like the most. Also for the entire trip we spent 470 euro for diesel and gas for heating system. For campsites we paid around 714 euro per person per night plus 714 euro per motorhome plus additional payment for electricity cable for motorhome. Now let's talk about cons. It was felt a little bit crumble as we travel the company of seven. But we figure out and even think that it was fun. Sometimes it was messy as we have a lot of our clothes drying and hanging around all motorhome. Also we made a pact 
not to use toilet unless emergency case and only in small needs. Shower we also take in campsite as it was more convenient for us. And also, if we need more space, in evenings and in the mornings we use big common kitchens in campsites. And in the end of the day, after whole day visiting beautiful places, have trekking, visiting the hot springs, we were so exhausted that we immediately fell asleep until the morning. Oh, привет, братан! Двигайся, двигайся, нас там много. Хорошо, Ванна. <laughs> On one of campsite we lost water faucet cover. So after we dropped off motorhome we were charged for this cover for 50 euro. It was totally our fault, but be aware that in Iceland everything is very expensive. Another cons I didn't find. We rent a motorhome in advance before our trip in the website campervanrekjavik.com. It's not an ad, just recommendation because we were good with them and didn't have any issues. To rent motorhome in Iceland you need to have driver license and credit card. That's it. To drive motorhome that we choose is enough to have category B of driver license. It's the same like for a car. And all of passengers need to be minimum 25 years old. Don't forget about insurance as in Iceland it's very important. Weather and road condition in Iceland is kind of specific, like nowhere in the world. Here you need, besides collision damage, also gravel, ash and sand protection. I recommend you to take maximum insurance. There are some gravel road in Iceland and only small stones can make small damage on your car and then you should pay not small fine. Unfortunately, it's a true story for us. We should pay 600 euro for very, very small damage on the car. It was not with this motorhome, it was with a car that we rent after it and I will tell you about it in the next videos. Also weather condition like windstorm and ash or sandstorm do happen here often and with a high probability. <laughs> For nine days in September we had one day so strong wind that we should wait for the whole day till its end because you can drive motorhome if wind speed is higher than 15 meters per second. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please push the like button and subscribe to my channel. Here will be more videos about how to travel Iceland and in other countries. Also, I have Iceland travel guide. You can check below. Bye-bye!